Hello and welcome to Red Live and I hope everybody who is watching this is having an awesome day. Me, I'm doing good, no complaints whatsoever. Now I do have some news for you and our first topic of the video, Karabon Cheng is engaged. Congratulations are definitely in order for TV and radio personality Karabon Cheng who revealed that she is officially off the market on Tuesday announcing that she is engaged to her longtime boyfriend. The 5FM DJ took to social media posting pictures from her proposal, sharing the exciting news with her followers. So yesterday, she posted a couple of pictures and captioned them, pop the champagne, I'm changing my last name with a wedding ring emojis over there. And looking at those pictures, look at that, isn't that just sweet? Aww, I can't wait to do that to someone's daughter one day. But moving right along, this is not about me, of course. Throughout the years, Garabo has never really shied away from publicly gushing over her partner on social media. I mean, she does keep her love life somewhat private in a way. But yeah, I mean, she does have, uh, if you do go through her timeline, you'll see posts. I mean, I saw this post from 2015. It is captioned there that they are celebrating half a decade. Half a decade, people. That's five years in 2015. If you do the maths, it's 2021. That means, you know, that is 11 years later. 11 years later, do got down on bended knee and proposed. Now, I have heard from a friend of a friend that, you know, you get some girls, you know, after five months of dating, they be asking you like, dude, what are your intentions? Huh? When are you planning on getting down on that bended knee? Now, of course, nah, not everyone's situation and I suppose love progression is the same. I'm just saying that I heard stories, you know, from a friend of a friend who's no longer my friend that, you know, after 11 months of dating or so, women be asking you, hey, when you gonna marry me? But we got people out here, you know, proposing after 11 years. But getting back to the story, Carabo has actually spoken to the papers and said that her partner asked for her hand in marriage on her birthday while they were in Cape Town, a Cape Town getaway, and she said that it was the easiest yes that she has ever had to say. She is quoted as saying, we've been together for a very long time. I've known him since I was 19, so there was really no question about it. Everything happens in God's time and I'm extremely excited. He's my best friend and I don't think anyone understands me as much as he does. He's kind and so patient with me, I can't imagine spending life with anybody else. So yeah, definitely happy belated birthday. I mean, she turned 30 this weekend, celebrating her 30th birthday and also congratulations on that uh, engagement. Now, before we move on to the next topic, please do me a huge favor. If you do enjoy the content here on Red Live, do give this video a huge thumbs up. It does help out a lot. And also, if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed, do hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads. Our next topic, Idol's essay is losing viewers following Somizi's exit. So Somizi Mshongo fans are making sure that Idol's essay does feel the consequences of his absence. Now, according to the papers, after Somizi was allegedly fired from the singing competition show, ratings reportedly took a huge nosedive, losing approximately 324,847 viewers. Jeez, that is a huge tank. Now, in July, the ratings for the popular singing competition were apparently sitting at more than 1 million viewers. However, after his exit, only about 600,000 viewers have stayed with the show. Now, before we go any further, I mean, uh, with the show of hands in the comment section down below, let me know if you have stopped watching Idol's essay. I will say for myself, you know, I did miss last week's uh, episode, but I don't feel all that guilty about it. Number one, there was some soccer on that weekend. And number two, they weren't singing. They were just announcing the top 10. I can always go back and watch it on catch up. But that is my reasoning to why I didn't watch it this weekend. But I have watched all the other shows and I do intend on watching the rest, you know, going on forward. But if you are one of those people who have actually stopped watching Idol's essay because of Somizi, I mean, let me know why have you stopped? It's not like Somizi was singing on the competition now, was he? But moving right along, I'm sure by now we should all know that Somizi took some time off from judging idols as well as other duties with the SABC following allegations of abuse that came to light that were made by his estranged husband, Muhalim Daung. Now, Somizi decided to remain away from the spotlight to deal with his personal matters. Now, to replace him, idols thought that celebrity guest judges would do the trick and probably save the show. Now, the guest judges were definitely nice, but it does seem that Somizi's bubbly personality is what a 
lot of users missed the most from the show, according to the reports anyways. So yeah, it does seem that people don't really care all that much about the singing talent, it's all about the Wu Shem. <laughs> But yeah, apart from the reports and the ratings and all of that, let's take a look at what people have said on social media. One user wrote, If Unreplaceable was a person, hashtag idols essay, we miss you so measy. Another user wrote, Honestly, the show is boring and not entertaining without Ed so measy. He's the beast of the show. He's the reason why I watch it. I'm so heartbroken. You are missed, G. Again, you know, kind of goes back to my point. Are people really there for so measy or are you there for the singing talent? But moving right along, another user wrote, so boring without Somizi. With a picture of a woman yawning over there. Yeah, nah, I mean, like I said, do get in the comment section down below and let me know if the show is boring for you now. Now, apart from that, you know, there were reports that his friend Kelly Kumalo was supposed to, you know, be the second best option to kind of fill in Somizi's shoes. However, it seems like those reports have not panned out. And according to the latest reports, the reason why Kelly Kumalo hasn't showed up to be the replacement is because she already has other commitments with another rival singing competition on SAPC2 called Stand Up South Africa. So perhaps having Kelly Kumalo on Idols SA could be a conflict of interest. Here's a scary thought for Idols SA. What if Somizi jumps ships and goes to Stand Up South Africa? I'm just saying. He's a free agent, it's possible. Our next topic, Blood and Water Season 2 trailer. So South Africa's original Netflix series, Blood and Water, has released the trailer for the series' much-anticipated second season. Now, according to the creators of the show, which left the audience with a cliffhanger in Season 1 after Figile questioned Buleng about her obsession with her, it will return with a rocky start between Buleng and Figile following the revelations of the DNA results. Now, apparently, drama will ensue to test old alliances and forge new and unlikely friendships. They also added that the second season will bring the heat as there will be more drama, more breakups, lies and of course more new faces. Now according to the papers they've actually got some quotes from the director of the show who said the following about the second season. The story is going to pick up where it left off and the truth will ultimately surface. There will be revelations of all kinds as there are new secrets as well. So yeah, apparently season 2 is going to blow people's minds. Now the director also added that viewers will get all the answers that they have been waiting for from the last season which only had 6 episodes and for me that was one of the problems, it kind of felt short. So the director actually spoke about the number of episodes in the new season and uh, said that we're going to have to wait and see when season 2 premieres on the 24th of September this month. So for me personally, fingers crossed that we get a little bit more episodes than just six. And yeah, I can't wait to see all the new faces. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Ray Live if you haven't. And binge watch my previous videos.